So the 2018 Legends Conference is going to take place in Las Vegas this summer during the NBA Summer League. And we're really excited about being back in Las Vegas with the rest of the basketball family. The NBPA meetings will be occurring. The NBA Career Conference will will happen immediately after our conference ends. And so our players are going to have an excellent opportunity to spend four or five days in the middle of all the NBA and former player programming that exists. We couldn't be more excited about the Women's Summit that we're doing in Las Vegas for our summer conference. You talk about a great lineup. We've got Michelle Roberts, who's head of the NBPA, Doris Burke, who's, you know, a superstar at ESPN. And, and then you've got Lisa Leslie, you know, Hall of Fame basketball player, all around great person. And, you know, you talk about a player leader. I mean, that, that, that that's Lisa. And so, you know, them headlining the, the group is very strong for us, but the other people who we're, we're going to be bringing in, you know, just as strong and just as influential. We added the WNBA just a few years ago, and to be able to put this kind of conference together and this kind of summit together is really important for us because we do need to provide a holistic, full view of the player experience and the former player experience. I'm extremely, extremely excited to have Northwestern University's Kellogg School of Management as our headline educational program for the Legends Conference this year. This really is the opportunity that players need in order to advance themselves professionally and, and you know, really holistically. You know, if, if you were to take any business professional or uh, executive and give them the opportunity to work with the Kellogg School of Management, they would be excited. They would see the value in it. They would see that we're bringing world-class educators into a classroom to give world-class training. Again, our players have been super successful on the court. Why wouldn't we give them the opportunity to be this successful off the court in this program? This is unique. It's tailor-made to the former player. It's age-specific. It's, it's background-specific, but it also brings in all of the teachings that a normal student at, at Kellogg would receive in the MBA program. And so when you talk about players who have great interest in um, marketing, investing, entrepreneurial ventures, this is the type of program we need to, to give them to put them on the right track. So our, our technology summit is extremely important for us because it brings us into the current age of former athletes and current athletes investing in tech, getting involved in the current trends. And, you know, some of the things we've seen and, you know, I credit Isaiah Thomas for bringing this to light is that many of the new companies and startups are using athlete money and athlete notoriety to boost their brands. That's a great thing, but there's also another side to it because if companies are using athletes instead of banks, then we need to step in and help athletes understand what it is they're, they're doing, what they're investing in, what the risks are. And so I credit Karan for coming out and wanting to speak to his players and his, his, his colleagues to tell them, this is what I'm doing. This is, these are the pitfalls. This is how it's worked, but really give them the player perspective on this. The retired player by definition is changing. Um, as salaries increase, as players are able to be more savvy with their finances, they're walking away from the game with more. They have more resources, they have more knowledge, and so it's important for us to be in this space because this is what players are doing now. Players aren't going to sit down and do nothing the rest of their lives. They're in their 30s, their 40s, they have a lot of life, they have a lot of living to do, and so they want to be active. They want to get involved and they see the new ventures coming out. They see things are, are moving around them. They want to get involved. And so it's our job to make sure that, number one, they know what to get involved in and two, how to get involved, how to protect your money and how to and how to do things in a way that's going to be beneficial to you. You know, athletes have been the, the very top of their game their entire lives. They want to do the same thing when they get involved in business. You know, they want to succeed. And so our goal and our job is to make sure that they're in a position to be successful.